Hey friend, I thought you should know that I have to go home. And when I come back I got detention from Miss Green. Because I've been sick all over her shoes. Because I told her, her how chavvy I am. Well, you were only just being you. You can't help who you are. Plus, when you go home, I will bring you your homework back to you after class. Okay. Thank you, my friend. I must say you are very perfect for helping me out. Make sure I haven't got loads of homework. Well, I must say you have lots and lots of homework from Mrs. Green. But don't worry, instead of you going home, try and find out the teacher's hidden place in school. We both need to know this and what going on with them all. Oh yes, I forgot about that. We need to find out what they've been hiding. I'm going to sneak right away, right now, and do the job that we are supposed to do earlier. Okay, go on, make your way. Oh, it looks like I found you teachers in here. What are you all doing in here? What's your secrets and your plans? Well, we are trying to find out how to buy cars and buses for transport for all of you children. Plus, it's kind of hard work, so you need to leave. It's We're kind of in a meeting here. Well, I ain't leaving for toffees. I want to come and help. Because I don't want to go home, because Miss Green has sent me home, and I don't want to go home yet. I want to stay in here until she notices I'm in this room. Okay, but you can't stay because we want you to leave because we could be fired if you're in here with us all. Plus, we need privacy. Come on, just leave. Huh. Huh, I'm getting fed up here. I always have to leave everywhere I go. Oh, I could have helped you, you know. I might as well give my mate a text saying I'm going home. To her house. We want to know how you're getting home. If you don't know, here are our car keys. You can take our car home to her place safely. But make sure you put your seatbelts on and leave my doggy basket in the boot. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that is so nice. I just had some popcorn. Popcorn? Popcorn. Just wanted to eat something before I leave. And you said I could take your car? Oh, that's wicked, man. I like you even more. Hey, what are you doing in Miss Kelly's car? Are you her son? No, I am one of the class students. Oh, do you try and run away from school or something? Because you're not meant to be in this car. Otherwise, it, to me, it'd be kidnapping. And I'm in the car with you, and I'll be in trouble. By the cop Prissy. I don't fancy going to jail today. No, you will not be in jail, because I won't let that happen. You better not do, because I'll be in serious trouble. Plus, today, I might as well tell you as you're in here anyway in the car. Um, there was a mouse in our heating at school. And the fireman had to get it out. A mouse? OMG, I cannot believe it. Right, where do you want to be dropped off? Because I've got to be somewhere, you see. At the florist's house because he is my daddy. Okay, I'll drop you off there at the florist's house. But, oh my god, I've got to face the traffic as I get back. Look what, how many traffic cars there is here today. It's probably the school run. 
Yes, it's just gone past half past three. It's a school run now. I'm in a load of beep. Yeah, the school traffic is hard to get out of. But at least it gets you out though, which is a good thing. Right here is my stop. Thank you, Gil Lovely in a shuck pickup way. Well, no problem. But I must admit though, you can't do it again though, because I could have been in so much trouble. Tell the florist I've given you a pat lunch because you didn't have no lunch today at school because you ran away. Okay, I'll see you later then. Bye-bye. Wow, a free lunch. Thank you, friend. Right, as I dropped him off, I have to go and find someone. But who can I find? I need to ask him for them to do my homework. I don't like doing homework. Well, later's when my mate comes round. Plus, I'll have a text from him soon. Hey, Dad, I ran away from school today and I was in a teacher's car. But I wasn't the teacher who took me home. It was a class student called Gil Lovely. She is nice. We had a nice talk in the car, and she was about to head in some school traffic as it was end of school at 3.30 p.m. You what, boy? You run away from school? How dare you run away from school? What about your education? You are going straight to bed. And I will call Jill Lovely soon. OMG, I shouldn't have told you, Daddy. Now I'm crying. Well, it's not only that, son. You could have got me in prison. Because I could have got fined a thousand pounds. I don't want to pay a thousand pounds for you.